Now, while we're continuing this series on nomenclature, this is uh, the purpose of this series of messages is not just to have a word study. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing particularly wrong with the word studies, it's just that they don't have a lot of gas in them. You know, they, it's like a, like a small tank, you can't mm -hmm. go very far on it. But these are designed to, to assist us in seeing how God works and how He's in control and how everything is moving in a certain direction and how uh, key words always have to do with something either God said or God did or mm -hmm. requires. It's, key words always have to do with that. Mm -hmm. With a person's relationship to God, as Brother, Brother Ricky ministered very capably earlier here, mm -hmm. uh, that it's all about our connection with God. And you'll mm -hmm. find that every key word in Scripture bears directly on that, yeah. on that relationship. Whether it's something you do or something you experience or whatever. So they we're going to deal with a word tonight that's in that category. It's, it's happen. Happen. Now there, there is such a thing as, as acceptable words. Solomon in Ecclesiastes 12.10 said, The preacher. It's interesting, that's how he referred to himself. The preacher. Yeah. The preacher sought to find out to find acceptable words. And that which was written was upright, even words of truth. Now what Solomon meant was, I, he, I saw for acceptable words, we'd say he asked for wisdom. Because wisdom is always in terms of words. Whether you think them or you say them. Try and think of something that's wise, there's no word with it. And what he's saying is, I sought for them, and what I'm writing down, that's what I got. That's what, that's what he's, mm -hmm. what was written, that was, that's acceptable. In other words, he knew that if you're going to represent God, you can't write something unacceptable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or say something unacceptable. Amen. So this, that's what we're dealing with, with is acceptable words here. Some of them uh, may sound like they're novel, but they're, they're not. Happen. Now our text spoke of Israel, said the things that happened <laughs> to them. Okay. Things happened. Mm -hmm. Now there's different meanings for the word happen, as I'll show you. I'll tell you what I'm going to, the particular meaning I'm going to fasten on, but we're not going to be talking about happenstance. Yeah. Uh -huh. That'd be something that is, uh, some, the bottom end of the scale would be like someone thinking of fate. And the others are like an accident that just happens. There are, there are things like this we're going to find. There are things like this that just, in the normalities of life, things happen. But that's not what we're what I'm talking about here. So I want to first define the word. It's used as a variety, as you might suspect. There's a variety of words that's translated happen. I'll just give you what uh, what they mean. One meaning is to to come into being. It's by the dictates of someone else. Something comes into being, and, but, it's, and it's, but it's independent of judgment. It's, not, it's just something that, that happened, but it's not by particular message sent by it. It's just kind of in the normalities of life. Now, it's not used that much in Scripture, but I'll you have to give you an instance where it is. Mm -hmm. Another is to bring something about or impose it. Now let me give you a scripture first on this, uh, what we might call happenstance. This has to do with the Philistines when they captured the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> and uh, they made the mistake of looking into it and they were stricken with emeralds. Uh -huh. And so they decided we've got to get rid of this Ark. We can't keep this Ark here. So they said to put it on, put it on a cart and pick a couple of oxen that uh, have some newborn calves and take their calves from them turn these oxen loose and see which way they go. If they head for their calves, we know that what's happened to us is a judgment. If they head for where, this, where they really should be going, then we'll know that, then we'll know that, uh, if they head to the calves, then we'll know this is just a happenstance. If they head toward where they're supposed to go, we'll know this is a judgment. Now here's what the text says, it's 1 Samuel 6, 9. Mm -hmm. And see yeah. if it, the one carrying the cart, goeth by way of the coast of Beth Shemesh. Mm -hmm. Then he, God, hath done this great evil. Mm -hmm. Evil not being wickedness, but mm -hmm. calamity. Yeah. But if not, 
then we shall know that this is not his hand that smote us, it was chance that happened to us. <laughs> Quite an interesting, interesting text that some Philistines wanted to know whether this was just chance or whether it was some kind of judgment from God. Wouldn't have gotten some people that profess to be Christians could think that, but could think that way. Yeah. It's a good way to approach your life. Mm -hmm. I'm not dictating why you go about it, but it's just good to try and find out, well, was this just something that happened or... Was God in this? Mm -hmm. So we're, of course, going to major on what God's in. All right, now another meaning is to bring about or to impose something on somebody. Now here's, here's some examples of this. 1 Samuel 28, 10. Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. What he meant was, I'm not going to let this take place. Mm -hmm. It was something imposed on, something caused to happen. Second Samuel 20 and verse 1, here's another example. And there happened to be a man of Belial, whose name was Sheba, the son of Bichri, and a Benjamite. And he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in David, neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse, every man to his own tents, O Israel. <laughs> now this guy was a plant. By the devil. It happened. There happened to be a son of Beetle mm -hmm. there. <laughs> well, it wasn't happenstance that he right. happened to be mm -hmm. there. So he was strategically placed. Perhaps you've been someone, somewhere where there happened to be a yeah. wicked, son of the wicked yeah. one there. Huh? See, so you you've got to see this. Well, if you can see it right, see, so you know how to respond mm -hmm. to it. Here's another example. Now, these are things that. They're like appointed things that happen. They just they just didn't fall out that way. And I'm giving you different examples. Here's one I gave one Satan did it. Uh, here's another in Esther, four seven. As you know, the name of God is not mentioned in Esther, or the Lord or Jehovah or anything like that. But his hands all through the book. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here Mordecai.